For some colleges, it can be difficult to find the advising that you truly need. But to change that, a group of local grad students are looking to rewrite that narrative. You can see it's getting more busy as the time progresses. My name is Josh with the WCCO Street Team. We're gonna see what we can get into today. For people that couldn't get a ticket, you could get into Fan Fest. For adults, it was $10 or less. I'll tell you why women in a book club are turning a Michelle Obama visit into an all day celebration. A popular toy retailer in the Twin Cities is going out of business after 37 years. What customers are saying about creative kid stuff closing its doors. But recently the workers here at Hallenbeck Hall have their minds set on a new task. Even if you don't want to play trivia, you can still volunteer and attend the award ceremony at Richie Auditorium on Sunday. With that, I'm Josh with UTVS News, signing off. That's it from the newsroom today. My name is Josh Cobb. Have a good day. On Wednesday, a hip-hop dance group named Dynasty held their annual end of the year showcase. Students from all over the St. Cloud area performed dance routines to great music, which had the energy in the Atwood Theater high. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Everyone put their best foot forward. Everyone gave us some energy. We had different styles on the floor. We had different ages. I'm really proud. And she should be proud. The event was a success. Jonica helped create Dynasty three years ago, and the driving force was her passion for dance. Though it's a relatively newer organization on SCSU's campus, it creates a welcoming atmosphere for all. We needed a place where we could just be ourselves. Um, and we really didn't have that at first, um, where people could just express themselves through their body language and all of that. So we wanted a space where it was free, and we wanted a space where people could come and teach us some things. So that's why we started Dynasty. Also to build up our self-confidence. Um, yeah, and just overall just having fun and meeting um, people really of all different backgrounds. There is no shortage of fun with Dynasty. When you're in their space, you can't help but to dance. I got a chance to speak with a current member and he guided me through the first day that got him hooked. Hey, hey, Things like, yo, this is pretty dope. So I, I've been getting at that for like about three years, two and a half, three years. And yeah, it's really something to, when that stress of school gets going, something to do. Dynasty is a lot of fun for its members, but for some, it means much more. Dynasty really creates a good community, and I think it really promotes just um, us being friends and not, you know, just classmates. Like, we really get to see each other outside of class this way and um, just enjoy each other's company. Josh Cobb, UTVS News. From the buzz outside Nicollet Mall, from yesterday's activities, to the beat inside today's Fan Fest, the side activities became the main stage for those who didn't buy Final Four tickets. It's like with a Super Bowl experience, this was really fun, so I wanted to come out and experience it with my family. And she isn't alone. We got a chance to catch up with a few families, one of which was satisfied with just getting Final Four logo basketballs. Because we needed more basketballs, and it's a little souvenir. Yeah. I'll have the orange vanilla. And we also met Charlie, a local Minneapolis kid that got to taste the new orange vanilla Coke flavor. And his initial reaction will probably satisfy their execs. Oh, that is amazing. Nathan, how do you try that? That is amazing. He wasn't the only one displaying amazement from the event. The sizable crowd even impressed some of the organizers. I think that what this weekend has taught us is that Minnesotans show up. Whether it's the Final Four Friday, whether it's the Fan Fest presented by Capital One, they're here and they're so excited. In Minneapolis, Josh Cobb, WCCO News. You thought it was a game! As you can see, Shaletta Brundage is very serious about showcasing her love for Michelle Obama. From head to toe, she is letting everyone know that her love for the former first lady is real. Minnesota loves Michelle. That's just plain and simple. That's our hashtag for today. Our former first lady is here tonight, and the town is electric. Everybody is excited. Shaletta isn't the only one excited. So are the members of her book club. Some members even flew in to take part in all of the festivities. Having us talk about how the book has inspired us, and it's brought us together very closely. The day included everyone being pampered at VIP Hair and Nails in Minneapolis, brunch, and talk about what they are expecting from her stop in Minnesota. 
and we want to be inspired and motivated and challenged. We plan to laugh, we plan to cry, we plan to hug and love and just soak up any pearls of wisdom that she wants to hang around our neck or jewels of inspiration that she wants to drop into our spirits. During their brunch and cocktails, Shaletta got the surprise of a lifetime when Michelle Obama responded to one of her posts on Twitter. Her message read, thank you for such a warm welcome to Minnesota and for lifting up some of the amazing young women in your community, Shaletta. I hope you all are having a great time tonight. She has lived a life of unity, of togetherness, of inclusion, of positivity, of going high when other people are going low. Use her example to become exactly what you want to be. In Minneapolis, Josh Cobb, WCCO News. You can see it's getting more busy as the time progresses. My name is Josh with the WCCO Street Team. We're going to see what we can get into today. Auburn, are you ready? Right outside of our station, the Final Four Street Fest was a clear display of excitement and anticipation for the big games. I encountered a Virginia fan party, a video game station, a NCAA pop-up shop, a Jenga game, a real-life bracket, and a station where you can mark off attending the Final Four off your bucket list, and a Waffle Guy? Hey, Waffle Guy, why is Michigan State going to win? Because we're good. We always win that. We always win that. This is how it goes. We always raise banners. We always win that. This is how it goes. <laughs> but it seems like no matter where I went, I can always count on there always being music. What's fun about being here right now? Everything. It's like the atmosphere, all the people that are like excited to be here for the game and everything like that. The crowd, crowd control going on here and you can't even make it through the streets. There's a lot of people, they're all excited and happy for their team to win the big Final Four. Perfect. And who do you have winning? I like Michigan State. I like Green. No. <laughs> Cassius is a great leader. He's got a good team behind him. You know, McQuaid's always there to help him out. Uh, and Cueto, Picks up 20 points tonight, definitely win. In addition to the activities and music, one thing I couldn't pass up on was the food. My favorite part about this already is the food. Look at that, a pulled pork sandwich. Even on a foggy day, the Final Four brought out the light in us all. The Fan Fest was a success. I'm glad I came out. I'm Josh with WCCO News, signing off. If there's one thing our Mike Max loves, it's high school sports. Last night, that passion was recognized and celebrated as he was inducted into the Minnesota Football Coaches Association Hall of Fame. Maxie's love for sports began as a, as a kid growing up in a small Minnesota town. The irony is, I'm here tonight because of coaches. I grew up in Gaylord, Minnesota, town of 2000. I played for three different head coaches, football, basketball, baseball. Chuck Pike in baseball, Darrell Crude in basketball, Dave Main in football. All three are in respective Hall of Fames. Dave Main is in this football Hall of Fame. He is as good as it gets because every day you went to practice, you knew he wanted you to get better. Every day you went to practice, you knew you were going to be fundamentally sound. And every Friday night, you knew you were never going to be out prepared. Congrats, Maxie. Thanks for joining us this morning. Check back at 1030 for more news.